Hi, I'm Sirianas, and I'm doing my biological project on Joe and a Reese's pieces. Okay, Joanna Reese was born April 4th, 1932, in Winter Swissig, Germany. She was raised in a Jewish family, her being the youngest, with an older sister and an older brother. They were all like a happy, dandy Jewish family and all until Dr. Evil, who was actually in this case Adolf Hitler, had a little fight and caused World War II upon the world by starting this holocaust which against the Jews just simply because he didn't like them. He was kind of for blue eyes, blonde hair, which the Jews lacked and he didn't want anything less and all OCD about it, which affected Joanna Reese because she was only nine years old and in school and trying to make friends. And people started to be rude to her, not want to sit by her, and she had no idea what was going on. She thought she smelled or something. So Mr. Dictator Adolf Hitler, who loves to gang up on Jews just because he doesn't like them, ended up with the Nazi party slowly weakening the Jews from any type of rights they had. Kind of made them like animals. The Reese family got warnings by the radio, other Jewish families, and soon got the red flags and all the hints that they needed to get out of there. They made a house farther away, I don't know exactly where, but that didn't work out. They actually had to go into hiding and separate from their family. The Reese, two Reese sisters, Cindy, who was 22, and Joanna, who was 10 at the time, went together in a house next door, a farmhouse with two farmers called the Ustevlitz. They were very lucky to have people take them in like that. And they had to live in the Ustevlitz house, which was neighbors, for 1,095 days, which is three years. This put their lives on pause. Cindy, who was 22, had a lot to lose, and Joanna had a lot to gain, but uh, unfortunately couldn't because of her pause life. This is very hard for them not being able to just be bored for three years, not being able to talk or anything. This is a hard time for Joanna because this was the time she could have made friends and grown up with her life. Fear every day, might get caught, might die, all of this was a big impact every single day of their lives. Except for this one day where they were lucky enough to escape free from the house, the dark, dark attic, and run around in the sun in the hills and everything. But unfortunately, being in the dark attic and sitting down every, every day left Joanna sick, ill. She wasn't able to handle all that light coming towards her, which made them have to call for a doctor and possibly make her in danger. Um, Joanna was, Joanna and her family of five survived the Holocaust and World War II together, being the biggest group surviving out of their village, out of 350 Jews. But sadly, the mother was in the hospital and she did die. But it also took Joanna a whole entire year to regain all her leg muscle and all that. After she regained her strength, she went through college and she graduated. After she graduated from college, she left the United States. For whatever reason she wanted to leave, she left. And she moved to New York City and then she became an elementary school teacher, got a family, and had a happy life in America. She also told her stories about her life in the Holocaust and then she wrote many, many books about her struggles and her just her life up in the upstairs room. She got many rewards and a lot of the time she was compared to Anne Frank and the Anne Frank Diaries with her 
books. She wasn't like Anne Frank though. She survived and she wrote about her overall life and not what she just saw at the time. This is why she got so many rewards in her books. But even though she got so many rewards and praise for all her stories, she was still not so happy after all the trauma she went through. And that is where we leave off on the biographical project on Joanna Reese. Thank you very much. Ha, 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 ha.